Hey everybody, it's Brooks Forster for Broadcast Beat. We're at the 2016 AES convention. And we've stopped over at uh, Corning, and this is uh, specifically optical cables, correct? That's correct. Tell us That's what's um, the hottest and newest products for the optical cable world. Great, great. Well, what we're showing here is, as you mentioned, Corning is a uh, optical cable company. So what we did with this particular product is we said, well, where in consumer what data rates are starting to exceed the limits of copper? So we mm -hmm. looked at first we looked at USB 3. So USB 3 lets you go about three meters at five gigabits. But what we've developed is a product that allows you to go longer distances and still maintain that five gigabit speed. Right, and how would that work out for uh, for you guys initially? Well, what we've done is this is the product here that we're it's one of the demos we're doing is the the unique thing here is that the consumer doesn't have to worry about optics, right? They, right. See a, they see an electrical connector that they can plug in right into their computer, and we do all the conversion to optics inside the connector. So we get the electrical to optical, there's a laser in here, it transports the data long distances, and on the other side, we convert it back to electrical. So and, and this is uh, USB 2 and 3, correct? Yes, what's unique about our product is we both uh, can send USB 3 and 2 traffic okay. over the same fiber. And so what about USB 1? Well, with USB 1, we don't natively support it, but what you can do is you can either use a, a powered hub, a USB 3 powered hub or 2 powered hub, okay. and that'll give you native uh, USB 1 support, or you can buy just a, a bus-powered uh, USB 2 hub that you plug it in, and you're good to go. You have now 1.0 support. Everything you need, one, two, and three, all in one cable. That's correct. Well, that's correct. with the addition with the bus. But that's, right. that's a pretty easy solution to something that's otherwise quite complicated, correct? Yep, yep. So we have a couple of demos set up. If you'd like, I can show you one of the uh, demos. Yeah, please do. Show us the demo uh, real quick. So what we have here is we're using just a uh, PC. Okay. Um, there's our cable here plugged into a USB 3 port, and that's actually running all the way over to that uh, Western Digital USB 3 hard drive, and that's where the audio files are being stored. Okay. So I got lots of room on that. My, my, my laptop has very limited space, so I'm storing all my flat content, my audio content over there. And then... It makes it really convenient when you have a bunch of different hard drives, especially if you wanted to have your hard drives in, say, like a, a hard drive closet and your computer's across the room. Uh, otherwise, that was you had to stack everything on your desk. Real close. Right. You'd have to have it real close to you. And That's this, really great. I love way, that. with our cable, you can uh, go up to 50 meters away with our USB 3 cable. So the other, uh, this is a USB 2 uh, port on this laptop, and I have it connected to these uh, DACs. So there's an amplifier and a USB 2 DAC. And what it's showing here is that you can go longer distances now and have the same sound quality that you get with a short copper audio cable. Yeah. So there's no degradation in sound quality. So I do need these amplifiers in order to, to, to maintain that quality. Yeah, well, you'd need a, um, a DAC to convert the USB signal to audio, and then you could put it through whatever amplifier you had. Awesome. Yep. Well, Jamie, where else can uh, our viewers find additional information um, on this product here? Is it a website? Yeah, yeah you'd go to uh, www.opticalcablesbycorning.com. Cool. And we have our... It's a long name. <laughs> it <Yeah>. is. <laughs> and we have our USB and Thunderbolt. We haven't really talked about Thunderbolt, but that's yeah. the other product that uh, we're demoing here. Do you want to talk about that real quick? Yeah, what's, the, what's the Thunderbolt? What's new about that? Well, Thunderbolt is a protocol uh, by Intel, and it's a, it converts the electrical to optical, but what's unique about Thunderbolt is it's now 20 gigabits per second transport. What did it used to be? Well, there was Thunderbolt, which was 10 gigabit. Now there's Thunderbolt 2, which is 20 gigabits. Okay. And even there's talk now about Thunderbolt 3, which is going to be 40 gigabits. But well, that one, that, the all of a sudden you lost me. I was like, 1, <laughs> 10, 2, 20, 3, 40, it doesn't make Okay. Yeah, well, that, but let's that, keep it simple. Yeah, let's keep it simple. So the, the product I have here is a Thunderbolt 2, 20 gigabits. There's two 10 gig lasers inside this little tiny housing. Okay. And two photodiodes, and it lets us transport data 20 gigabits up to 60 meters away. Now, 
with copper, you're limited to three. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the advantages of our product wow, is that's that great. it lets you go longer distances. You guys go long, so yeah, that child is like, go long. We're, we go long distances, and we also have, are very durable and robust. Now, our customers, this demo here that I like to show, is we're just putting this VFL into our cable, and it comes out the other side. But look at what we've done. We're bending this cable over on itself. And I can tie shoving it, it in there yeah. and it's still and it's still transmitting the signal it's still coming out that's amazing you don't have to worry about breaking your brand new optical cables by corner yeah <laughs> which may make your videos if you're the type that's like here's how you manage and wrangle your cables a little obsolete because you're saying you manage and wrangle them however you want they're still gonna they're, they're still gonna, gonna work perform. they're still gonna perform yeah. that's great well hey Jamie thank you so much for your time great. really appreciate it thank and you. thank you guys for watching um, as usual, we'll have you like, subscribe. If you have a comment there, we'll have a link to you guys. If you want to do any follow-up questions on that, that's available Super. to you. Uh, we'd love to get you guys your answers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.